Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm keeping it super, super casual. I'm just going to show you my perfume collection. It's a lot. I'm going to admit this is not a normal size collection. However, this is what I'm really passionate about. I really enjoy it. So this is all the stuff that I have. I'm going to show you today how I organize it, how I store everything, and then just pick out some of my favorites from the lineup here. So first off, this is where I keep them in my closet. I wanted to have them in a really nice cabinet, but my daughter is still young and she tries to reach for them. She actually tries to drink them at this point. So I have to keep them in here on a shelf that's a little out of reach for her. So it's not anything super fancy. The setup, our closet is not ideal. We want to renovate it at some point, but this is where I have it for now. I tried to make it cute by just hanging some cute perfume pictures. I'm going to definitely improve this later on, but this is what I have. So down here on the left of all of this is where I keep the ones that I reach for the most, my favorite brands that I really, really love because as I come in, I'll see these first and I know I'm going to reach for them often. Down here, I actually have some decants of some fragrances. I showed you guys on Instagram and TikTok the Tom Ford ones. These are the new rose fragrances. I really like these a lot. I think I'm going to get a full bottle of these soon when I run out. And then I have a couple decants of Angelique Noir by Guerlain. This is amazing. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm definitely going to get a full bottle of that when I run out of it, but I wanted to get this size first to try it and see if I like it because there's no Guerlain store around here, so it's hard for me to find this one to try. So I bought a decant of that and Tonka Imperial, which is amazing. It's a great fall scent that's kind of smooth, a little chocolatey, um, a little smoky. It's just a beautiful, rich, decadent fall scent. And then I have BDK Tabac Rose. I haven't tried that one yet. I haven't had time. And then this is a discontinued Tom Ford one, Shanghai Lily. It's so beautiful. I'm so sad they discontinued it, but I got at least a decant to hold me over. And then right here, I have Wilhelm Parfumery, and I have four from this line. They're all beautiful. This line is very elegant. If you like a chic, very luxurious line that is clean, not too dark or smoky. They're just very bright, fresh, and light. This is an amazing brand. My favorite one is Room Service out of all of these. I also like Fleur Burlesque back here. This this is a kind of deep, sexy, little bit dark florals, even though it's still light and bright at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, but I adore this one so much. But I think the safest one to get out of these would be Room Service or Do Not Disturb because they're very light and fresh. And then on this tray here is where I keep all of my Chanel's. Now, I used to not be a Chanel person at all. And in the last few years, I don't know if it's just because I've grown up, I'm a little bit older now, I really appreciate them a lot more. So obviously my collection kind of grew from there, but I love this Paris collection here. These big bottles here. Riviera, I love so much. I wear this many nights before I go to bed because it's fresh. It's clean, a little light and bright. I love wearing this right when I get out of the shower. Gardena, I have in a video coming soon. It's just a beautiful, true floral scent. And then when I want to feel like a true woman boss, I'm going to wear Coco Noir. It's sexy. It's deep. It's sophisticated. I feel like a boss when I wear this one. Um, and then my other favorite one that I love for every day, it's a great signature scent, is Gabrielle Essence. I like the Essence be better than the original. And then in the front here, I have my MFKs. Obviously, I have Baccarat Rouge, the X-Straight version. If I have any special event to go to or a date night or something very elegant, I'm going to wear this one because it's insanely luxurious, beautiful, very clean, airy, a little sweet. This one right here, oh my gosh, you guys. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I will always have this in my collection. I wear this to bed a lot, actually, even though it's a pricey fragrance. It's very comforting to me. It's like a dark, creamy, sweet rose, but in the most elegant, luxurious, sexy way. I don't know how to describe it. It's such a unique fragrance. This is in my top five of all time. And then next to that is another one of my top five. I actually found out about this from Demi Rawling, so thank you, Demi. <laughs> this is Gris Chanel from BDK. It's a little smoky. It's creamy. It's rich. It has sandalwood, fig, a little bit of cardamom in there. It is such a perfect fall and winter scent, but I wear it all year round because it's just absolutely beautiful. I love that one so much. And then here I have all of my beloved Tom Ford fragrances, which I love so much. Obviously, you can see I have many of those. I have Black Orchid and Velvet Orchid. This one is such a sexy scent, you guys. It's so unique. It's like rich, spicy plum. It's so beautiful, but it's potent. This is definitely wear on special occasions only. Um, in the front, I have Santal Blush. Love this one so much. This is in my top 10. I'll talk about it more for you guys, but it has incense in there. If you love incense, this is absolutely gorgeous.
gorgeous. Back here, what do I have here? Oh, Jasmine Rouge. So beautiful. It's elegant. This is like I'm going to a tea garden. I'm going someplace elegant for brunch. Beautiful. I have tobacco vanille and then, um, oh my gosh, this one, you guys. This is in my top five as well. As you can see, I talk about it all the time. It's such a smoky, sexy vanilla. I love it so much. Sorry, guys. I'm trying not to shake the camera too much, but I have Van Cleef and Arpel. This is such an elegant line. It's understated. I feel like more people need to talk about it because they're amazing fragrances. Um, I think my favorite one I have actually is Bois Doré. This is my newest one. It's like a vanilla scent. It's very rich and creamy. It's just very elegant and understated, but just beautiful. It's just very wearable. Um, and then this brand, Parfum de Marly, is one of my first niche brands I got and I absolutely love it. Obviously, everyone knows about Delina. This is a beautiful spring scent. It has some lychee, some rose in there. This is like girly feminine in a bottle. Absolutely stunning. Well loved. Everyone knows it and talks about it. Behind it, I have Oriana, which is a very sweet scent. It's uh, marshmallow, some orange blossom. It's just a very sweet, flirty scent. And this one, Safanade. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is such an elegant, mature scent. This one I wear if I want to be at work meetings. I want to feel sexy and sophisticated. Like this one was actually my first purchase from Parfums de Marly. I got this before Delina because I enjoyed it a little bit more. It's a little bit more grown. Athalia, this dark one here. This is like the grandma of the group. This is very powdery. So if you like powdery scents, you'll love this one. It is a bit vintage smelling, but I love it so much because it's very unique to me and I don't have a lot of powdery scents in my collection. I actually like layering this under Safanade and Delina actually to give it kind of a unique scent. It's just such a great dark deep base. Next is Inicio Parfums. This such an amazing brand, you guys. I love these so, so much. My favorite one, which one is this? Psyched oh, Psychedelic Love. This is in my top five as well. So if I had my top five, it would be Psychedelic Love, BDK Gris Charnel, um, probably Oud Satin Mood, Baccarat Rouge. I mean, right there, I've got my top four. This is such a sexy, warm, sweet scent. Very complex, hard to describe because there's not a unique note that comes out. It's just very well blended, sweet, creamy, sexy, little smoky, like amazing. Love that so much. This one is Atomic Rose and it's like Delina's older, sexier sister. So if you love Delina by Parfum de Marly, Atomic Rose you will love. It has kind of a similar scent profile, but it's a little bit like richer, deeper, sexier, but definitely still a little fresh and sweet with some rose in there. And then back here I have Addictive Vibrations and Rehab. Those are both amazing. These are my top four from Initio Line. There's some others I want to get, but that definitely psychedelic love. Oh, so good. And then here I have Byredo. Everyone knows of Mojave Ghost. This line to me is very modern, trendy, fresh, not too heavy, but they're still unique. This is a great one to start from, from the line. Everyone loves this so much. So if you're new to the brand, try this one first. My personal favorite though is this one, is Cellier. It's smoky, it's rich, it's sexy, it's warm and cozy. Like this is one of my favorite scents as well. This would probably be the fifth one in my top five honestly because I wear it so much. I love this one. When I ran out of this, I'm getting the biggest bottle I possibly can. Like out of the whole Byredo line, this is my favorite. And then back here, I have some Frederick Mall ones. I have Portrait of a Lady and En Passant. I'll try to do reviews of those for you guys later. I haven't worn them as much yet. They're kind of new to my collection. And then what I do for all of my fragrances that I don't have like many from the same brand, I put in a tray to kind of keep them together because I'm a little bit like anal about me having Having rows of specific scents. So that's why I keep them in trays because it feels very contained to me. But this is all of my niche fragrances that I have just one or two from a specific brand. My favorite in this tray right here is this one by The Harmonist. It's called Hypnotizing Fire. It's smoky. It's sexy. It's sweet. It's a little rich, like great fall winter scent. I love this one so much. It kind of has a similar vibe to Cellier by Byredo. My other one I really, really enjoy is a new brand called Bow. They just launched recently, Lamar. It's very fresh, elevated, sexy, sophisticated, luxurious. Like this is such a great scent. It's kind of along the same lines as uh, Mojave Ghost from Byredo. Not the same, but the similar vibe. Oh, and this is my newest one. I just got this one yesterday. This is Cartier Declaration. This is actually a men's scent, but on me, it went really sweet. It is super fresh, vibrant, a little tart, a little citrus, but definitely not too citrusy because I hate citrus in scents. But this one is such a great one for summer. So I'm going 
gonna test that out some more and then review it for you guys. Oh, this one back here, this is another one of my favorites. No one talks about La Perla Possibilities, you guys. This is such a boss babe scent. Like this is, I'm a boss, I have my shiznit together, I'm sexy, I'm feminine, I'm still very sophisticated. Like this is such a great scent. It has some florals in there, but it's very like deep and creamy. And the projection and longevity of this is the best out of any fragrance in my entire collection. I love this one so much. And then back here, I have Luby Kiss, which you guys, look at this bottle. Look at that, insane. This is a beautiful scent too. This is very tuberose heavy, but it's very creamy, kind of deep tuberose. So if you like white florals and you want something that's great for like a date night or something that's a little bit more sophisticated and complex, this is a beautiful one. Uh, Givenchy Trouble Fat. I've talked about that before. This is a great fresh scent. I would pull this out every summer. That's my favorite season to wear it. The rest of the year, I don't pick it up, but summer, it's amazing. Very fresh and light. Then in this row here, I have my Guerlain scents. I just have a couple full bottles. I'm going to get more, like I said, I'm going to get Angelique Noir because these are super pricey. So I don't have a lot of them, but they are gorgeous. I do think they are worth the price point. These are super luxurious, you all. This Spiritus Double Vanille is the best vanilla you can ever get. It's so luxurious. It's rich. It does not smell synthetic at all. It's great on its own. It's great for layering. Like this is such a gorgeous vanilla. If you love an is this is like creme de la creme. On these, I love the packaging because you can customize the top cap, the ribbon, the cord. Um, you can have your name engraved on the back, which I did. I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera. So I have my name on that one. So I got the double vanille. And then the other one I got, I don't enjoy this one as much, but it still is beautiful. I blind bought this one. It's Santal Pal Rosa. I got it because I love incense perfumes. And this is actually really nice. It's very luxurious. It has the pink juice in there. So I did this one with the pink cord and on the top I did the crocodile embossing. Isn't that cool? So you can totally customize your bottle which is so amazing and just so special. And then of course I put my name on the back of that one too. And then behind that I have my Lanterdies because it's one of my favorite designers. I love Givenchy Lanterdi. It's just such a classy, elegant perfume. So I have the regular and then I have the intense flanker. I want to get the rouge one, the red one. So I'm missing that. So eventually I'll get that. But for now I have the regular and the intense. And then this brand is a newish one. This is Hervé Laurent and this is from um, France as well. And these are so beautiful, you guys. I'm going to do a dedicated review of these because this is a very unknown niche brand. These remind me of Chanel and Byredo had a baby. Like they're very clean, they're fresh, they're elevated, they're luxurious, they're not too strong or intense. They're just beautiful everyday fragrances and I love the bottles because it's very simple and it's clean. It's very understated so it kind of represents the brand. It's just elevated and understated. This row is my Kellyanne fragrances. I have a few. I have Liaisons Dangerous. It's not my favorite of the line but I do still enjoy it. It has a peach kind of flavor to it. This one I love, Love Don't Be Shy, amazing. It reminds me of Parfum de Marley Oriana because it's sweet. It has marshmallow in there, some orange blossom. Like this is very sweet though. I have to be in the mood to wear that because this does not play. It is sweet. <laughs> And then I have the Rolling in Love, which is another beautiful one. And then behind it, I've only worn this a couple times, so I need to test it some more, but it's my only Nishane one I have. It's 100 Silent Ways. Back here, I've talked about this one. This is Santal Vani by Seven Virtues. I love this one so much. Absolutely gorgeous fragrance. So beautiful. Skylar Pink Canyon is a nice fresh fragrance. Great for spring and summer. It has a little bit of salt, some grapefruit in there. It's just perfect for this season. Um, and then I have a couple Amouage Honor. This is such a classy fragrance. This is a great wedding perfume, springtime, brunch, elegant occasions. Like this is so luxurious and just beautiful. And then portrayal is kind of the same mood too. It's just beautiful florals. I need to test this one more because that's a little bit newer for me. And then you guys know Jazz Club. So I went to get by the fireplace. I did not enjoy it at all. I really wanted to because everyone talks about it, but I like Jazz Club. It's super smoky. It's sexy. It's a little boozy, like so amazing. And then I have Beach Walk, which is just a great springy scent, very fresh, good for spring and summer. Back here, I have Atelier Cologne, their vanille, vanille Ensense. This is such a gorgeous vanilla. This is like a fresh, um, like creamy rich vanilla, but it's just very wearable. 
so this is a great introductory one if you want just a nice pure vanilla that's a little bit sweet I really like that one for layering and wearing on its own and then this right here is my designer tray this is where I have some of my favorites that I wear you guys know I love my Armani my way it's very bubblegummy sweet like this is when I'm feeling fruity fresh flirty I want to wear this in spring I love that one Gucci bamboo I've talked about on TikTok this is a great fresh scent if I'm running errands going to the gym I get out of the shower I just want to smell fresh clean and pretty I love that one um alien everyone knows that one such a sexy scent my personal favorite though is alien goddess this is like a creamy sexy scent a little touch of coconut but it's still very just luxurious smelling to me I really enjoy that one a lot I wear it a lot during summertime um I've talked about this one in a video before the floral street wonderful peony that's beautiful nice just girly fresh flowers um this one oh you guys Gucci Guilty Intense. This is so sexy, like just rich and dark, little sweet, very, very sexy. Um, this one, I don't know if they sell anymore, Armani C Fiore. I like this one, the pink bottle. If you guys can find this, it's so beautiful, elegant, slightly sweet, very feminine. Oh, and this, you guys, this is a fresh vanilla. Juliet has a gun, vanilla vibes, fresh, clean, beautiful, just amazing. Like this is so underrated, you guys. This is one of my favorite vanillas as well because it's just very fresh and beautiful. And you guys know I love my Versace Crystal Noir. This is just sweet, sexy, little coconut, very creamy, very dark, but still just wearable like this. I'll always have in my collection. Love that one. Carolina Good Girl, that one's great. I know a lot of people love this one. It is beautiful. It's not my favorite because it's not unique enough to me out of this whole tray. I would say my favorite is Juliet Has a Gun, Versace Crystal Noir, Our Money My Way, and then the Gucci. Oh, and this, this guy here. <laughs> Okay, then down here I have my, my Joel Malone. I have five fragrances here. This I'm going to get a bigger bottle of because I love it. It's be it Peony and Blush Suede. Just very beautiful floral, but still light. This one, Red Hibiscus. Such a great summer scent. Very exotic, a little tropical, but still very clean smelling and just a little bit floral. Um, and then if you love Tuberose, the Tuberose Angelica. That's a beautiful feminine scent. Just very great for spring and summer as well. And this one, <sighs> this is probably my favorite from Jo Malone of all time fig and lotus flower if you love fig this is so beautiful it's just creamy and light and fresh and feminine like this is so beautiful I got the biggest bottle I could of that because I love this one so much and then here I have my Marc Jacobs line I have my newest edition which is perfect um I have I don't even remember the names of these you guys I have the oh yes yeah, skies this is very um sweet light fresh the classic I'm empty on that I have very little left this was my signature scent for years years I think this is my second bottle of it so I'm going to take a break from it for now but I know I eventually will get some more because it's just it's a classic this one I don't know the name of that Daisy Dreams I don't wear this one as much it's a little just a little sweet for me for some reason I don't know why I just don't grab for that one very often this row here I have my Gucci I love bloom I know a lot of people think it's a little bit vintage or whatnot I love it it's pure classic florals like it's great for layering great on its own I know it can smell a little bit um, vintage but I love it. I, I don't care. I think it's beautiful. I love it. And this one is so gorgeous too. This is a beautiful floral, a little bit more richer than the traditional bloom. Dolce and Gabbana, the only one. That's a, a great kind of sexy scent as well. You guys know I love my Pour Femme. I talk about this all the time. This is like sexy, sweet, rich, creamy, like so many things all in one. It has some marshmallow at the base too, which I love. It gives it that like kind of girly sweetness. This one I haven't worn much yet, but I will come spring, summer. It's like blue it's just very light and um it kind of smells like pez candy to me for some reason but in a good way <laughs> then this row here is my bon parfumer ones so now this brand you guys you can get it from nordstrom i discovered it at my local nordstrom you guys if you want to save some money get some very elegant beautiful perfumes they're not overly complex but they're still very beautiful and elevated smelling these are amazing they have a ton of different ones i have look at all look at the whole row i have you guys look at all these they're just beautiful like they're simple packaging so you're not going to get this super fancy bottle but these are $48 and I'm telling you guys the long 
longevity and projection amazing. Like these smell and feel like very luxurious fragrances, but they're so inexpensive. I think they're great value. Out of all the brands I have, the best value for the quality that you get, I think you can't go wrong with this brand. Dossier, I have four Dossier fragrances. I just posted a video uh, today actually on my Instagram and TikTok, so check that out if you want. I won't go into detail, but these are super affordable. They're dupes for high-end brands, which I'm not usually a big buy a dupe person, but these are actually really good for the price. The packaging's not amazing, but the fragrance inside is pretty good. Next, I have my lineup of Burberry. My Burberry, I just wore the other day. This was done by Francis Kirkjian, the guy who made um, Baccarat Rouge, so it's amazing. It's a great formula, beautiful, sexy. Has some rose in there. It has, um, I think it has Ambroxan, I can't remember. But this to me smells like it could be in the same family as Oud Satin Mood. I mean, not as good, but still a beautiful fragrance. So I do love that one. So this one is Burberry Her Intense. This is my husband's favorite. I got this bottle because I didn't know if I would like it much. Fell in love. I found out they're not going to be selling it anymore. So I got my bottle on Macy's and got a big bottle as a backup because my husband loves this one. Like this is probably one of his favorites is the Her Intense. Um, and then I have the uh, Burberry Her Blossom, I think is what this one's called. It's fresh and light, great for spring. And then down here I have the brand Oakcha. These are pretty good. I These are dupes as well. I can't tell you which one this is a dupe of. They're pretty good. Um, I love the packaging for it being a dupe brand. I think they look very luxurious. They are nice scents. These run around $49 to $50. Um, I would say between this brand and Dossier, I like the Dossier just a little bit more, but these are still very good. I think it's worth checking out if you go to Oakcha's site. Like, I love the bottles. The scents are amazing. Back here, I have my Pure Grace Nude Rose. I've talked about that one. That's a great everyday scent. If you'd like something that's light, work appropriate, not too strong, but still very beautiful. This one I don't wear as much anymore, but I did at one point. I'm almost out. The Love Sweet Love. And then I have the new Kim Kardashian fragrances. They're not bad, actually. They're pretty good. One of them I don't like. I think it's the caramel one. I think it's this guy I did not enjoy, but the Gardenia one is beautiful. I'll do a review on my TikTok and Instagram for you guys on these, um, so I'll talk more about that later. And then this tray here is kind of my, my random ones that don't have a spot. I kind of put them down here in the tray because they're by themselves over here, but they're still really good. This one is YSL Mon Perry. This one is a great scent. Obviously, uh, Mon Guerlain. This is a classic. This is like classy woman. Like I have my shiznit together. I'm elegant. Has a little bit of lavender in there, so it's a little bit unique. Ariana Cloud. <laughs> you guys. I got this because everyone was talking about it, saying it smells like Bac Rouge. It does not smell like Baccarat Rouge. I don't know who told that BS story. I'm sorry on me. It smells like Barbie doll head. It smells like rubber. I, we I really want to like this, you guys. I'm going to try to give it another shot because everyone seems to love it, but on me, it does not smell like Baccarat Rouge. I'm sorry. I love Ariana, love her music, but I just, no. Um, I have some Aqua de Parma ones that I got a few years ago. They're not my favorite. I don't reach for them often, but they're still nice. They're not bad. I do love this Montal Paris one. I talked about this. This is Intense Cafe. This is a great fall winter scent. I just, it just, the bottle I'm not a huge fan of, so it doesn't like fit in with the rest of my bottles. So that's why it's kind of like all by myself. And then these, these are my masculine fragrances, you guys. I've talked about them in a video too. This amazing fig scent. Very dark, very dirty. Like, it is a little bit masculine, but it's it's beautiful. Like, I wear this on its own, or I layer it under Fig Blossom by Joe Malone. So good, you guys. So sexy. Love that. My Versace's Eros Flame. Like, this is sexy, sexy, sexy. I get so many compliments when I wear this, I cannot even tell you. People stop me in the streets when I wear this. Like, what are you wearing? I'm like, it's a men's cologne. So good though. And then finally down here, I have a container of all of my travel size ones. I've got some more Montal in here. This one's beautiful. I might get a full bottle of that. So that's kind of my random samples. And then I have my big old sample set of Montal because I really do want to explore the brand a little bit more. And then finally down here is a box of samples of a bunch of perfumes that I want to try, but I don't have time because I'm busy wearing all of this stuff. So I feel like I'm winded talking so much, you guys, but this is my fragrance collection. This is how I organize them, kind of lay them out. So let me know, you guys, if there's any of these you want specific reviews. I'm going to try to do a scent of the day on Instagram and TikTok. I have obviously enough perfumes. I could do one a day and never repeat them. So, so follow my TikTok and Instagram if you want to see more detailed reviews of individual fragrances. And then let me know in the comments what you want to see with fragrance. See you guys next Friday. Bye.